da 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 I am going to talk about Los Angeles, and that's this place right over here. I'm going to tell you, my my personal memory of Los Angeles is this. Uh, I grew up in San Francisco, and then I went to college in Southern California, very, very near Los Angeles. And I and during college, I went to San Francisco, sorry, San Francisco, Los Angeles uh, in college, I went to Los Angeles many, many, many times. Many, it, it was a very easy drive from my school to go to Los Angeles, and uh, Los Angeles was a cool place. When you're a young, when you're a young person, uh, it's exciting to to go to the big city, and it was a different city. It was a new to me, you know. You know, uh, Hollywood and uh, theaters and 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 uh, movies and TV shows and the beach. Uh, you know, it's got all of that and the rich people's houses and all of that. So very, very exciting. Another thing is, uh, I had a brother who lived there. I had a brother who lived there and he was, he was a young dude. He, he just graduated from college and he had a good job and he made lots of money and yeah. And so, yeah, it's cool. So I, I actually stayed with him for a year. I lived with him for for a year, uh, and it was kind of cool. It's kind of cool. And this was a really, really long time ago, and in that time, in that time, it was just in the very, very beginning of when something weird happened in 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 Los Angeles. Uh, fashion was a big deal. Fashion changed. All the time, and sometimes it got really weird. Um, and uh, 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 also, uh, people would dress up in costumes, and, and just and their idea is, um, if they were a superhero, you could get your picture taken with them, and you could give them a little money, and that way, these people who were basically homeless. Um, <laughs> uh, but would would be able to get some money. Just you know, it was honest work. You know, I mean, they were they were they were trying to be like a superhero or a comic book hero or some or a Hollywood celebrity. And then you know, people could go, "Hey, it's kind of cool. I'm getting my picture taken next to Batman or Spider Man." And and eventually, it became a really common thing to do. So if you go to L.A. today, you'll see a lot of people in costumes trying to make some money. That is my memory. My memory. Oh man, I would go surfing. I go. I went surfing a lot. Um, I would go driving into the mountains. I went to the mountains many times. It's it's really, it's really interesting. The mountains go right up to the city, and then it, the city is right next to the sea. Let's do a little trivia about San, uh, about San Francisco. My brain is stuck on San Francisco. I don't know why. Uh, okay, uh, by 1923, nearly 25% of all of the world's oil came from Los Angeles. That is true. Uh, right in the middle of Los Angeles, there are oil factories. Everybody's heard of Beverly Hills and Rodeo Drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they, their names actually come from the place where they are, not for any special reason, uh, but they are, the, they are the place where all of the, the celebrities and the rich people of LA have their really, really huge houses and their beautiful houses. But in the beginning, it was a ranch called Beverly Hills and Rodeo Drive was the road from downtown LA to this ranch. And it had a huge farm where they grew lima beans. Yeah, that's right. But actually, it went pretty quickly from lima beans to mansions pretty fast. In Los Angeles, there is a giant pit filled with tar. Tar is a natural substance. It's a material that is, a, that is like, it looks like oil, but it's very, very thick, 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 thick oil. 
And it's been around for millions of years. And that is why uh, this pit contains the bones of dinosaurs. I think it is time for us to talk about Hollywood. And my memory of Hollywood is in the year that I, that I lived with my brother... I had all of these weird part-time jobs. I also went to summer school. I went to school part-time. But I also dated girls. And all of the girls and all of my my new friends in L.A., except for me, except for me, but all the people I knew wanted to be movie stars. Yeah, they wanted, they wanted to be famous in Hollywood in some way. And I didn't. I didn't. Um, I, actually, I actually was more interested in the history of movies, the history of Hollywood, and the story behind the scenes of the movies. I, I didn't want to be in front of a camera uh, at all. Yeah, here I am making a video talking about Hollywood. So I don't know what happened. I made a big turn in my life. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, that's my memory of Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but what about some trivia? Let me share some trivia about Hollywood. The original, original sign for Hollywood actually was it was a longer word it was called hollywood land yeah the first sign was hollywood land and eventually the land part fell down and just stayed down there is a street on hollywood boulevard and if you look on the sidewalk the sidewalk has stars on it big stars with famous people's names on them. And that is a way of making these people forever famous, forever important. And this is called the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame uh, is not a, it's not a gift. It's not some celebration. Okay, you're famous now. We put it on there. No, you are the star and you have to pay for it. And it costs thirty thousand dollars. So if you are a famous star and you want to have your star on there, you gotta pay for it. And a lot of celebrities, they they don't want to do it because they they feel like oh that makes the, I'm not so special, you know. And a lot of people say oh, I'll pay for it, I'll pay for it. But Hollywood, the city of Hollywood, says nope. If you want your star, it has to be you. It can't be your friends. Do it. Um. Frank Sinatra, you know, old blue eyes. Uh, Frank Sinatra, uh, he has three uh, Hollywood stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He has one for movies, one for music, and one for television. The world-famous uh, record label... The headquarters for the record label Columbia Records, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the number one biggest music company in the world. There's a light on the top of it that blinks off and on, off and on. Um, and that's because in America, all tall buildings need to have a light at the top that blinks for airplanes so people don't crash in them. This one is special, though. The light at the top of the Capitol Records building is special. It blinks in Morse code. Morse code is the signal to send messages if you can't uh, write the message. And it blinks out in Morse code, Hollywood. And finally, um, the, the last trivia that I'm going to say is Hollywood is both a city inside of the city of Los Angeles it is also an area. It is a, an area on a map of Los Angeles. It's both city and an area. It's, it's complicated. But it's, it's also just a general place. It's not exact. It's just kind of a guess. 
It's all three things. So a lot of TV shows and, and movies and and YouTube channels and podcasters will say, you know, live from Hollywood, uh, when actually they're not. They are in a city near Hollywood, or maybe even in Los Angeles, or maybe just in Southern California. But it's kind of a common thing to just go ahead and say, it's just, it's just, it's a mental place. Hollywood is a mental place. But my memory of Hollywood is, it's kind of a strange place. It's, it's beautiful, but also sometimes not beautiful. Kind of, kind of, kind of dirty. Um, magical. It's, it's, it can be a magical place, but also a, a little too real, a little too realistic, like painfully realistic. Kind of, kind of cold. Uh, so it's got a lot of uh, contradictions to it. That's my memory. Of, of Hollywood, but it is the place where people go to try to to try to make their dreams come true. Now the internet has changed that a lot, really has. So in a way, Hollywood Hollywood exists everywhere around the world thanks to the internet. It's not just in in California. So I guess you could say you could say that there's a little bit of Hollywood in San Francisco which is where I grew up, and there's a little bit of Hollywood in Detroit, which is where I live now, thanks to my, uh, my, my YouTube studio and my YouTube channel. So there you go. Good night, Hollywood. Good night, America. And this is my last stream for July, and I dedicate it to America, the things about America, the 4th of July, and, and the cities that make America special. Yeah. Well, I hope you learned a lot. Uh, I, I did doing my, my homework and trying to remember my experiences there. And uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this stream. And thank you. And good night.